Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, it's late. What's new, right? So you guys, I just wanted to come on here and record this um, vlog for you guys. And as well um, as a way for me to kind of document what happened today. So you guys... As you guys know, if you've been keeping up with my little work saga, um, I've been telling you guys that there's been some major changes at work and um, a lot of things have transpired. Um, so there was another major change, which was um, the company decided to send HR to speak to the employees, um, which usually means it's a chance for you to bring any issues you have forward. Um, so as you guys can imagine, the people who have been having issues and doing things and all that, now they're really afraid because they know this is corporate coming and Things are going to go left when the truth starts coming out. So I went in today. Um, I had to go to the post office, drop off some orders. So I went to work late. Um, I really wasn't going to go in, to be honest. Um, I really didn't want to go in until I had a chance to speak to HR. But I didn't want to let my team down. So... I decided that I would just go in, but I went late. I sat in the food court for a good half an hour before I decided to go in. So as I entered the building, the person who I've been having, I've made multiple complaints about was like right there. Um, and they started in with the watching and the talking to and the coming up to, even though they know like I filed a report and I don't want to be working with that individual. Like, I don't want them near me, near in the vicinity. I don't want them near me at all. Um, so I went to my supervisor after the person kept trying to talk to me. Um, knowing that I don't, knowing that I'm uncomfortable, knowing that I don't want to talk to them. I went to my supervisor and I said, like, you know, I don't feel comfortable. I don't want to be here. I want to, I'm going to clock out and go home. I'll come back tomorrow and speak to HR. Like, I just don't want to be here in the same vicinity as that individual. So I'm going to remove myself and go home. Um, she doesn't have the authority to, to say yes or no. So I left and went to the manager's office. And the manager is one of the people that I've complained about. So you see where this is going, right? So um, I asked her to call somebody else into the office. Like, I don't want to speak to her alone. I don't want to, like, I don't want to speak to her um, about this situation. And anyways, it got to the point where this is where it gets really crazy. She, like, she fired me when she doesn't have any authority to do so. And then I said, okay, I'm fired. No problem. I will go home. I will speak to HR tomorrow. Then she's like, no, no, you're not fired. You're dismissed with pay. But you just fired me. So which one is it? Right? So... Knowing, recognizing that she doesn't have the authority to fire me, she backpedals and says, you're dismissed with pay for the day. Okay. I said, okay, that's fine. I'm going to leave and I will speak to HR tomorrow. Um, I said, you, um, you put me to work with somebody that you know. I've come to you for months, like over th three times telling you about what's been going on since I came to you with my original complaint about him. And like, why would you put me to work directly underneath this person 
when you know like i i don't want to be within the same vicinity as him so she called me back into the office i went back in there once again telling her like i don't want to speak to her i'm going to speak to hr in the morning the lady proceeds to lock me in the office. You guys, I'm not even kidding. She shut the door. And I was just like, let me out. Like, I don't want to be, can you open the door and let me out? I'm going home. She said no and proceeded to bar the door with her body. When I tell you, like, I just... I started screaming, like, I just started screaming at the top of my lungs. I was screaming, help, help me, help me, please help me. Nobody would come and open the door. Like, I don't know how long I stood there and screamed and screamed and screamed. And nobody would come to the door. Eventually, it got to the point where, like, I felt like a caged animal. Like, I don't know how to explain that to you unless you've been confined against your will. If somebody, if you'd been confined against your will in a room, in a space where somebody's not letting you pass or not letting you exit the room, you start to feel like an anxiety, like a pressure on your chest. Like you start to panic. You start to, you start to lose it. Like you start to become very afraid. Then it's now fight or flight. Like you get so scared. So I grabbed the phone on the desk and I proceeded to call 911 for them to send the police. And I it was so bad. Like I was so it was so bad that a coworker eventually made their way in to the office and they ended up helping me. And I had to give them the phone to speak to the police because I was just so distraught. Like I couldn't breathe. I couldn't I was just so like distraught so anyway um you guys it was really bad um the police ended up coming and um now i'm thinking like i am going to press charges against her for illegal confinement um what she did was extremely wrong and i'm going to report her and um there's other things too but i don't really want to get into that um, I'm only speaking about myself and my personal experience. I'm not going to talk about work, things that are related directly to the company. But um, yeah, guys, so that's how my day has been. Um, I had that intuition, like I know what was coming. I know how serious, I know how serious it is, um, the things that I have said, and I know how serious it is that as a business these things are taken so i understood like once the once the one person was fired i knew what was coming and that's why i didn't want to go into work today i just wanted to wait for hr to come because i had a feeling they were going to try and pull a stunt and lo and behold they surely did but she made the mistake confining me in the office um after i had already exited and was on my way out to leave to go home she should have let me leave as i wanted to as i said i was going to instead of trying to restrain me and confine me in the office um that's against the law and i'm not gonna tolerate that type of nonsense so anyways guys suffice to say it's been a very 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 traumatic day for me um, but you know, I'm a very strong person, um, uh, when it comes to certain things and I'm just going to face this head on, like I face everything else and the truth will always come out. Like there's nothing, intimidation tactics, um, bullying, harassment, none of it will stop the truth from coming out and her actions today proves her guilt. And yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, so you guys, I just wanted to jump on and give a quick, it's like an update on the situation. Um, and it's like to vent as well. Um, just to get it off my chest. I cannot believe what happened to me happened to me. Like, 
that felt like that's very weird for me um as somebody who lives in Canada I don't live in America where you know black people are used to being treated in a certain way and it's kind of like you expect it um I live in a country where like there's workplace rules and regulations and laws to protect employees and to protect people from abuse of authority and abuse of power um so it was very shocking to have that feeling of like now I know what it feels like over there when you see certain things happening like to someone and they feel helpless like because in that moment I was helpless. I didn't have anyone and I was screaming for help and nobody came. If I didn't have the common sense of survival, because I'm grown, I'm not a child. If I would just imagine if I was a teenager and this woman is in a position of authority and power over me and I don't know what to do. Thank God I am grown into my 40s that I know procedures like how to protect myself that I knew to pick up the phone and dial 911 just thinking it could have been my 15 year old daughter at work or 16 year old she's turning 16 at work and have somebody do this to her and her not know how to react you know when you're young you don't know when someone is baiting you you might react violently you know and then you have a situation where now you're in trouble for assault. So I'm glad that even though I was in distress, I was smart enough to know to pick up the phone and dial 911 and not engage um, in a physical confrontation with this woman because that's what she wanted. So once I realized when she locked the door and shut me in, I realized that she was up to creating a scenario where it's my word versus hers that's why she locked us in the office alone you know because it would be her word versus the black girl you know and um of course as soon as the police came she did the whole you know um the black girl attacked me and all this other crap um anybody who knows me and has worked with me for the number of years I have been with this company would know like that's an absolute lie and I'm pretty sure even you guys you don't know me personally but if you have engaged with me on this platform and you listen to me um you can kind of guess like that is not the type of individual that I am um I just don't do I just don't do the ratchet stuff and even if I do it would definitely not be at work So um, with that being said, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this vlog. Um, I was going to say a mini vlog, but we're going to almost 14 minutes. So, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Um, If you do watch this video, thank you for watching. Um, Just thank you for listening. Um, I'm not going to do that whole like and share and all that because it's not really that type of video. It's just I'm making the video just to literally get this out and just to get it out off my chest i have to tell somebody what happened today so thank you guys for listening um i appreciate all the love and support um stay up and stay blessed and most importantly guys stay safe and i will catch you guys in another video good night